We are about to embark upon a series of strange and exciting, dangerous adventures. Adventures that will lead us to all parts of the world. Hello and welcome to another Bad Comic Review. This time we're looking at Vanish, Issue 1. This is a 2022 series from Image Comics, written by Donny Cates and pencils by Ryan Stegman, inks by J.P. Mayer, colors by Sonia Obak, edited by John J. Hill. Cover by Ryan Stegman, J.P. Mayer, and Jason Keith. I really like the cover, it got me to buy the book. This is obviously a mature reader's book, because there's a lot of blood on the cover and in the book. But it was a really catchy cover, and I thought, I need to check this out. So we start off with this guy who's drinking as he's walking home he's talking about how he's self-medicating we don't really understand why at first and then he's attacked by some thugs and just then some kid shows up in a costume to help him out now our victim here is Oliver Harrison we don't know much about him and the kid that saves him, his name is Battle Rocket but something's not quite right here and Oliver has a secret of his own see he's got a brand on his right shoulder and that tells him that there's something really weird going on and that's when the book takes it in Insane twist. Turns out Oliver was the chosen one of a wizard school. And there was this evil wizard named Baron Vanish and his followers the Hollow who were there to destroy the school and kill the headmaster who apparently may have been a bit of a creeper. Some of the staff are a little bit sketchy too apparently. And the chosen one Oliver here decided to break the rules of the school to stop Baron Vanish. Now he appears to have done that in a very spectacular fashion and quite hilarious actually. But his time is the Chosen One appeared to have been short-lived because he was 14 when that happened and this is at least a decade later. And now the followers of Baron Vanish have come out of the woodwork posing as something they're not. And that means that Oliver also has to take up a role in a mantle. So he busts out his old wizard robes and things look like they're going to get pretty crazy. I have to admit, this was an interesting book. First of all, the paper quality is really nice. And I was really impressed with that. It's a real nice cardstock cover. And at only $3.99, I was really shocked by that. The art is some of Stegman's best, mainly because I'm not familiar with these characters, they're new, so there's no expectations of how they're meant to be drawn, and I think that works really, really well. The colorist did a great job too, so the creative team all around, from the pencils to the inks to the writing, was all really well done, but this is a dark, mature title, and there's a lot of blood and killing in here. As far as the story goes, it's obviously a Harry Potter meets Green Hornet kind of storyline, but it does work for what it is. There's a lot of similarities to Harry Potter in the narrative, but it's kind of done in a tongue-in-cheek way that I didn't really have a problem with. I thought it was well done for what it is, and the creative way that the kid dispatches Vanish was really funny. Now, how this plays out is going to be interesting. They're on issue three as of this recording in November 2022, and I'm hoping that it continues to be at least this good, but we'll see. I've got all three issues that are out now, and I'm going to try and get those up as soon as possible, but I was really impressed with this. It's definitely some of Donny Cates' better work and Ryan Stegman did a really, really good job. I didn't have a problem with the art. So all around, a solid work by everyone on the team, like I said, and a really good cover, and the price point's right. So I'm going to recommend this. I think it was absolutely a fun ride, and I'm looking forward to reading issue two. That'll do it for this one. Thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future reviews. If you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, links are in the description to various support methods, and as always, we hope to see you on the next one. Hello and welcome to another bad comic review. This time we're looking at Vanish issue 2. This is a 2022 series from Image Comics, written by Donny Cates, with pencils by Ryan Stegman, inks by J.P. Mayer, colors by Sonia Obak, John J. Hill letters. I believe I have cover A by Ryan Stegman, J.P. Mayer, and Sonia Obak. Uh, the cover's okay, not as good as the first issue. The hero's a little too far to the right, so you don't really get a good sense of direction and movement on here. So we learned that while he was in school Oliver witnessed 9-11 and that was a lesson by their instructors why they don't intervene with the so-called citizenry which are the normal humans and that's because they'll always find a reason for war. We also meet one of his friends whose name is Dustin but is going by the stage name Deacon Dust and he's a magician with lots of facial piercings because that's a requirement for books like this and when he gets the chance to tell his girlfriend what's going on Oliver sort of lies to her and we learned that 
the Prestige are becoming more aware of what's going on in the Oliver's back. We also learned the fate of the person he fought last time. Overall, this was very middle story. And for an issue two, this is going to lose some readers because not a lot happens. It's mostly talking and moving around world building. And it's such a disappointingly weaker issue than the first one because there is so little happening, but there's a lot of plot moving. If you were reading this as a trade paperback or a graphic novel, it's not going to make that much of a difference because you'll be continuing the story. But when picking up single issues, it, the pacing does matter more. And this was clearly written as a full story before they broke it down like this and then tweaked it a little bit to be single issues. And having such an unexciting second issue with plot points that probably could have waited until issue three or four probably is going to hurt the sales of the book. And that's unfortunate because it is well written, but I could easily see why people drop out. Now I already have issue three, so I will be looking at that very soon, but this issue was well done for what it is, but it's not an action adventure issue. It's not nearly as exciting as issue one, but it is well done for what it is. Unfortunately, I think a lot of people will drop out because this issue has so little action that it's not really propelling people into feeling the compulsion to go out and get issue three. So I think this hurts itself in single issue format. So if you really want to get this i would say wait for a cheap copy of the trade to pop up but i'm going to check out the next issue because i am enjoying the story it's just really disappointing that there's not as much action adventure when you have so many compelling things in here that could be really much more interesting and exciting than they are because they're trying too hard to focus on this world building meta narrative that they seem obsessed with in modern comics we just want explosions and fights guys it's not that complicated so i'm going to stick with this through at least issue three since i already bought it maybe give it the first story arc but i can see why people would drop out i would say wait for the trade and pick it up that way you'll probably save a few bucks and you could probably get it cheaper than even the cover price of the trade through like amazon or half price trades in the meantime that's gonna do it for this one thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future reviews if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways links are in the description to various support methods and as always we hope to see you on the next next one. Hello and welcome to another bad comic review. This time we're looking at Vanish issue 3. This is a 2022 series from Image Comics. Written by Donny Cates. Story and pencils by Ryan Stegman. Inks by J.P. Mayer. Sonia Obeck did the colors. Letters by John J. Hill. I have cover A by Ryan Stegman, J.P. Mayer, and Sonia Obeck. Cover's not bad. It does imply that there's some action in here and there is. Oliver has tracked down one of the prestige and he, he knows who she really is and he's going after her but but she's very fast and she has a twin brother who is not particularly good either. Now they keep telling Oliver that things have changed. He doesn't know what's going on. And they seem to think that Oliver is concerned that Vanish is back or coming back. But they don't seem to believe that. And Oliver takes a serious risk to bring them down and absorb their magic. But there's a lot more going on because of course the civilians are getting involved as well. So the cops show up and that is when his wife finds out what's going on and calls Deacon to try and get some more information. But things aren't over just yet for Oliver. He runs into somebody called the Battery and Deacon is having his own problems. We're left with a cliffhanger ending and overall the story is pretty solid. Lots of action in this one. It's a bit bloody. It's definitely a mature reader's title. A little bit of gore but the story is pretty interesting. Unfortunately it is 20 pages so even though the paper quality is really really nice. Unfortunately a lot of the extra pages Pages that would normally be comic book are ads so you only get 20 pages of actual comic and I don't think that's worth four dollars so even though I am enjoying the story the Marvel way of doing pamphlets is now becoming standardized throughout the industry and I don't care for that very much I would say that instead of spending four bucks a piece wait and get it in back issues cheap if you can or buy the trade as of this recording in 2022 volume one is supposed to come out at 15 bucks and I think that's probably probably going to be a cheaper way to go because you'll be able to find it for a discounted price at somewhere down the line. So I would say that's the route to go with this. It is an interesting book and it is picking back up. Issue two was a little slow, but this one definitely had a lot more action to it. And I'm willing to see where the book goes, but I'm not really willing to commit four bucks on a regular basis to a pamphlet. So I would say if you can find it cheaper, pick it up that way. Otherwise, just wait for the trade and pick that up at a discount somewhere. That'll do it 
it for this one. Thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future reviews. If you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, links are in the description to various support methods. And as always, we hope to see you on the next one. Hello and welcome to another bad comic review. This time we're looking at Vanish issue 4. This is a 2022 series from Image Comics. Story by Donnie Cates. Story in pencils by Ryan Stegman. Inks by J.P. Mayer. Sonia Obat colors. John J. Hill letters. Cover by Ryan Stegman, J.P. Mayer, and Sonia Obak. I have cover A. It's okay. Doesn't really tell you a whole lot. Although this guy does appear in the book. So Oliver is fighting Battery, who's this big monstrous looking thing, but that is not who this really really is. This is actually a woman named Ileana who was once Vanish's lover. Now Oliver does absorb a bunch of her energy Highlander style like he has with the others but he's not done yet. Meanwhile Halcyon is talking to Dustin now known as Deacon and is trying to get information out of him. And we learn who Halcyon really was even though we don't have a whole lot of context there. And we end up with a lot of fighting. Now it does appear that when Oliver absorbs energy from these wizards that he actually is opening some sort of two-way street so they can kind of see what's going on too and it looks like the demon creature that he's talking to is trying to warn him about something and she said she's not sure how far Halcyon's gonna go but it looks like there's something else at play because Oliver is convinced that these people are trying to resurrect Vanish. I'm willing to bet though that the big twist is that he's actually resurrecting Vanish because this is kind of a Harry Potter knockoff so so the horror crux thing I think they're kind of going with that that he's actually gonna end up resurrecting vanish but there are a couple of deaths in this book and it's not gonna go well it we are left with a cliffhanger ending that looks like Oliver's wife might be in some trouble this issue was definitely much more action-packed than the last one there probably should have been a prequel story to this where we saw more of these bad guys so that we had more backstory to work with but I think that's probably gonna be in the future otherwise it's not bad it's a pretty gory book there is some pretty violent gross stuff in here so be aware of that but overall it wasn't too bad this issue's a little bit longer than the last one paper quality's real good cover picture's okay it does kind of relate to what's going on in the book though so the story isn't bad but i don't know if it's really worth four bucks it's worth a read it was fun it's kind of a dark harry potter with superheroes twist which is fine i didn't have any problem with that it just seems like it might be heading in a really predictable direction but i'm willing to see how the next issue goes but i would say if you're gonna pick this up try and get it for less than cover price just because the stories in most modern comics are so short this one's i think 22 pages long and that's almost up to the standard 24 pages that comics should be at but anything under that i don't think is really worth four bucks most of the time it's still a fun read it's got a lot of action and the art's pretty solid so i will recommend it there are some good sequences in here that were worth looking at and i think if you like harry potter type stuff and you want a more adult version of that this is what you would probably look for that'll do it for this one thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future reviews if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways links are in the description to various support methods and as always we hope to see you on the next one